everyone, it's Samantha. I actually got an email today um, from one of my subscribers asking me if I would do a specific type of video for them. And I told them, yeah, when I get off work, I'll go home, I'll film it, and I'll upload it. Um, a lot of you on here know that I really enjoy lipstick. Um, <laughs> I wear it all the time. Uh, even on my days off of work, I wear them. I've had this lipstick on for about 12 hours now. Um, I put it on at 5.30 this morning and um, it's 5.40 p.m. So a little over um, 12 hours. This lipstick <laughs> stays on so well. Um, even trying to remove it with a makeup wipe or micellar water, it's awful. I have my mirror down below you guys so that way I can see what I'm doing. Um, I uh, am going to try to take it off, but I can't guarantee anything. Uh, see, it comes off, but it's there's still a lot on there. Um, so she was wanting, she or he, um, was wanting to know if I would do a video on lipsticks that actually last a long time. Um, so I figured that's what I, do, I would do. Because uh, a lot of people go to work, they go to school, um, so they need something that's going to last a long time. So that way they don't have to keep reapplying it over and over and over and over during the day. Um, and that's uh, the case with me. I want something that's going to last a long time because I work eight hours a day. Um, sometimes a little longer. It just depends. That's as about as good as it's going to get on coming off. Um, so I'm going to do it the ones that stay on longest and the ones that don't in that order. The ones that I found that stayed on longer are the Maybelline Superstay Matte Inks. That's what they look like. Um, I have three colors, but these, this is what I had on my lips today. I had this color. Um, there's not a color name on here or on any of them. <laughs> Which is what I hate. But they have 20 shades. They had 10 and then they released 10 more. And the 10 more that they just released are all nudes. So like nude gray, nude everything. Um, but I actually really enjoy these. If you want something to put on and stay all day. Sometimes it even stays on two days. If you can't get it off. I've tried olive oil trying to get this stuff off. And it will not come off. Like, it looks like it's off my lips right now, but I still have quite a bit on there. So, this one I would recommend the most um, out of all of them. Um, next, I would say the NYX Liquid Suede. These stay on forever. They don't stay on as long as the matte inks, but these stay on pretty well. Um, now, I will say the matte inks feel so good on the lips. They're not too drying. They're um, really packed. The NYX, once they dry down, it takes like two or three minutes for them to dry down. But once they do dry down, they stay on very well. Um, the next ones that I would recommend, um, these ones take longer to dry down. I think I clocked it in at like eight minutes. Once it dries down, it stays on as long as you don't constantly rub it or rub your lips together, <laughs> then it'll flake off. Um, I have three colors of this, but I can only find two. Um, I have the red one, which is Rosetto, and this is the Remel um, Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color what it looks like. I have the red and then I have like a dark purpley blue. Oh this is in blue iris and then this one is in fire starter. 
and they're really good. If you guys want me to, I can swatch these for you, um, and put them up on like Instagram or something. The next one that I would recommend is the, the Jeffree Star. <laughs> this is in Unicorn Blood. I obsessed with this color. I wanted it so bad. Oh, I just wanted it. It is transfer proof. Um, the ones I mentioned before are transfer proof once they dry down. Um, the Jeffree Star one, it's transfer proof, but all lipstick when you eat oily foods it will start to fade um, he doesn't say that it is makeout proof but it is like kiss proof so if you go it's gonna stay on um, it's a really good one now we're gonna get into my least favorites because that's all my favorites um, that I personally enjoy and I wear a lot of um, the ones that I don't wear a lot of I love NYX, but the NYX uh, lingerie, this is so awful, so awful. It is so drying on my lips that it makes my lips feel like they were in the Sahara. Granted, it does stay on. It stays on a while, but it's, I cannot put my lips through the torture that this right here does to it. They are, ugh, and this is in the color Push Up, but it, this color makes me look like I'm dead. It is so drying on my lips that after I have it on for like 30 minutes, I want to rip my lips off. It is so awful. Um, so I wouldn't recommend this at all. Now, if you're a fan of lipsticks like actual lipsticks that you can keep applying all day I have several of those I just personally don't wear them because I'm not a huge fan I was a fan of this one when I first got it this is by Maybelline yeah Maybelline and this is in the color 695 divine wine this is a matte lipstick but also it's my favorite um, at the time before I got into liquid lipsticks. It's really cute. Um, as you can tell, I've used a lot. Um, it does stay on. It does transfer. It's not transfer proof at all. Um, none of the actual lipsticks are transfer proof. Um, I do have these CoverGirl Katy Perry Katy Cat Matte lipsticks. I have a black one. I thought these were going to be so great. They were going to be so matte. But they're not. They're so shiny. Um, I have the black one. I haven't. I've used it like once. I'm just not a fan. Um, I have a purple one. Just not a fan of these. Like I've only used it like once. And the pigmentation on these is just not, not the best. It's shiny and it's like super like it moves a lot so I wouldn't recommend this unless you want to keep applying your lipstick all day every day um, just not a fan that's what they look like and the purple is kind of like sp spotty like patchy um, the black one it's okay it's black but you're gonna have to reapply it all day um, I just personally wouldn't recommend it. I just wouldn't. I'm the type of person that likes my stuff to stay on all day, and that doesn't. Here's one that does stay on all day that I personally still don't recommend because it is like the Sahara. It is like the NYX lingerie. These two should be twins. This is Smashbox. Um, always on liquid lipstick. Uh, I believe it's in the color Rogue, but I'm not sure. It is so drying. It makes my lips feel like they're on fire because they're so dry. Every time I wear this, I haven't worn this in months, but every time that I wear it, I would have to, when I got home, scrub it off my lips and really do a deep, deep moisturizing lip treatment because it was awful. Um, 
another just plain Jane lipstick is by, can't remember the name, L'Oreal. Then 857 Sunwash. It's a very pretty color. I've used it once, but it's a very pretty color. Um, just want something that's going to stay on my lips all the time. The NYX Liquid, uh, Liquid Suede, I have all of them. So I personally don't need any more lipstick. Um, the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit. This is Mega Last Liquid Catsuit. These are really good. The only issue that I have is that if you don't get one that is super fresh, it is going to dry your lips out. That I will say. I've had this for like seven months for the first three. Did fabulous. Didn't dry my lips out. But once I hit like five and six, it was awful. My lips were dry. It was just bad. Um, another one I wouldn't recommend is by Revlon. The Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. This is a liquid lipstick. It does not dry down and it does transfer. I had this on my lips for I'd say about... 30 minutes and it still did not dry down. It stayed wet. I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> uh, another one is the Tarte Tardiest Lip Paint. This, the lady at Sephora got me. I will say she got me. I walked in, I said, I want a lipstick that's gonna stay all day, da 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 da. I want it to not move, not budge. Instead of her pointing me to NYX, she pointed me to this. And this, it doesn't dry down. It doesn't stay on your lips. It's awful. It, no sooner you take a drink of something, you have a, like if you drink out of a straw, you're gonna have a straight line. Um, it's awful. I, I'm just not a fan. Um, this is another CoverGirl one. It's actual lipstick. It's a very pretty color. I've only used it once. Just not a fan of tube lipsticks. I like liquid. I like it to stay. I like it to be on all the time. I'm just not a fan. You're going to hear me say that a lot. That it's got to stay. Um, these right here. These were a gift. These are by Buxom. It was a set. This is a lipstick I've used one time. Not a fan <laughs> at all. These right here are for people who want like plump big juicy lips <laughs> um this is like a lip cream a full-on lip cream um it's okay it tingles on your lips like it's supposed to this is an actual lip gloss it's got glitter in it it's shiny um but once again it's not going to stay on your lips the la colors um pout lip gloss in matte this stuff, huh, it's up there with the <laughs> Smashbox and the NYX lingerie. It's so drying. Granite, that stuff, it stays on, but it is awful to your lips. It is so drying. It is bad. Um... So I wouldn't recommend that. I mean, if you're okay with your lips being like super dry, go for it. These right here, I got from the drugstore. I got these from Walmart. Ulta sells them too, but Walmart, I think it was like $6.99 when I bought them. I think they're like $8.99 now, but you get one color that you can rock for like two weeks. Buy, an, buy one a month if you want to, but they're, they're reasonable. Um, this one right here, this is a... Elf lipstick, and it's a lipstick, not a liquid lip. I've used it once. You can't really tell that I've used it. But with Elf, one thing I will say not most lipsticks do, if you look at it, you're like, oh, that's pretty. It has the color on the bottom, just like the Katie Cat. This, <laughs> not a lot of people know, but this comes off. See? And this is actually... Kind of like the lipstick, but it's like a lip gloss. It's like a lip tint. So it's right there. Like I said, it's a very, like, sheer lip tint. Not a lot of people know those come off, but they do. Not all brands have them that come off, 
but I know Elf does. I'm pretty sure all of Elf's do. Um, if you're just looking for something to tint your lips, this right here is a good one as well. Uh, it's by Clinique. It's the Chubby Stick Moisturizing Lip Color Balm. It's really good too. Um, it gives your lips moisture. It actually helps, but it doesn't stay on. So if you're looking for something that stays on, like really stays on, my top three would have to be the Maybelline Super Stay Matte Inks. These, the NYX Liquid Suede's, even the Metallic Liquid Suede's, those are really good too. And the Jeffree Star, we'll do top four, or top five, we'll do top five. Jeffree Star, um, Wet n Wild Cat Soup, and you have to wait for these to dry though, but these are the Rimmel Stay Matte Lipsticks. These are good too. But if you want something that's going to be dry that stays right here, you got Smashbox, NYX, li uh, Liquid Lingerie, whatever, and then the LA Colors Pout Lip Gloss Matte. You gotta make sure it says matte because they do have actual lip glosses. I don't know why they didn't change the name from Pout Lip Gloss Matte to just matte. I don't understand, but it, I didn't market it. But that's all the brands of lipstick. I have a lot more from like the brands. So like I have more Jeffree Star. I have more NYX Liquid Suede. But I didn't feel like I had to bring them all out and show you guys individual ones. Um, but I hope that you guys actually enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, any comments, um, anything like that. If you want me to do swatches and put them on my Instagram, I can do that. Um, just let me know, but I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.